Technology. In 21st century Britain, there's no getting away from it. Whether you're preschool, a teenager, an adult or a grandparent, it's likely technology impacts on your life in one way or another. But is that a good thing? There are some that are concerned that people have become too dependent on technology, that privacy and personal security are a thing of the past, that family traditions have been eroded, even displaced with people becoming increasingly isolated within their own homes. And yet more people, irrespective of age or gender, choose to embrace technology than ever before. In this documentary, we explore the role of technology in people's lives and the often contradictory attitudes towards its importance. In this episode, we've spoken to the public to find out what you really think about technology. I think technology is really good. I need to learn technology. I like playing my phone. I think technology is good because I can keep in contact with my friends. Uh, me and technology don't go. I like technology because without it you can't do like your homework or play on games when you're bored. But on the other side of things, it really upsets me when I'm marking coursework because all of the tech speak means that they actually genuinely don't know. So year 11 students will write cars too and they genuinely don't know and they have to spend hours and hours correcting it. I think children today are being brainwashed. All they seem to do is play on their computers, watch TV, play on their iPhones. It's quite embarrassing when you've got a new telephone and you've got to ask your grandson, who's 13, how to use it. I like playing on iPad games. It will be the downfall of humanity because people will be too occupied on their iPad or PlayStation, Xbox and name it. With social media especially, people are becoming more detached from actual physical contact, physical communication. But I will adapt, I will change because um, I'm too old in the tooth really, but I am going to change and I, I must learn more technology because it's here to stay. The only question is, what will things be like in 10 years time? Um, technology can also be bad because like, people get bullied online. Uh, when I was a young girl, we used to go in the streets, we used to play hopscotch, we used to put a skipping rope across the road, we used to go walking, we used to do lots of activities, play jacks, make our own fun, but today they just seem to be absolutely brain dead with technology. We also spoke to Hannon Woods Academy School Network Manager and two local PCSAs exploring how a school uses technology and what police officers think about technology. I'm the Deputy Network Manager and uh, I also deal with e-learning uh, inside the academy. Um, so that covers quite a large amount of things with computers inside the school. We use a lot of different technology in a school environment. Um, we obviously have a lot of computers inside the school, probably uh, we're up to about 700 now across the school. Um, and on that we have a lot of different software, a lot of different platforms that pupils use that hopefully enriches and makes it better for them to be able to learn inside the school. Um, I think without that there would be a lot of opportunities that young people would miss out on if they didn't have access to that technology. So it's a very fundamental part of you know, how a school operates these days I think. Um, obviously we have to make sure that pupils don't get access to a lot of services that um, you know, parents and carers wouldn't really want the kids getting on. Um, so that's quite a big duty of care that we have to make sure that they don't get access to that material. Um, we also have a lot of policies to do with bullying in terms of e-safety. So things like Facebook and the school works a lot with local police officers to make sure that they come in and educate the kids on you know, how to stay safe online, how to report these things and make sure they can get help when they need it. Specific dangers around technology from a police point of view are namely around security and around the basic thing that you can have a, a picture of, of a young lad who could be going to any school but behind that could be somebody much older but because of the way these social media sites are set up is you won't be able to see everything while they can see everything of you you can only see certain points of them if their security settings are better than you so, so from a policing point of view, our main concern is that if young people today don't have the, the correct security settings on their apps, their social medias, their Facebooks, their Twitters, it becomes easy to exploit that from, from, from any sort of point of view if, if that person knows technology and computers and, and things like that.